Assalamu alaikum dear researcher in this video lecture on PLS SCMA smart PLS 4 lecture number 8 we are going to discuss how we can add control variables in a PLS structural model we are going to discuss how we will create dummy variables of our control variables and how we can use analyze our structural model using the control variables categorical control variables can be included in the PLS model when they are binary coded as dummy variables and loaded as a single indicator on the latent variable. In case these categorical variables have more than two levels, the number of dummy variables generated should be equal to a number of levels. So more than two levels mean, for example, a gender has two levels. But if we are asking question about age, asking question about specific country or something like that, it has two levels. So what we can do is we create number of dummy variables as I will show you shortly. Within the PLS structural model, so when we are running the structural model, an exogenous composite latent variable is formed by skipping one of the dummy variables, which serve as a reference to all other levels. So first of all, let's see how to create a dummy variable. So for gender, if we have already coded such that one of the level is zero and the other level is one, then it becomes a dummy variable. If we have more than one values within a particular uh, categorical variable or a control variable then what we need to do is we create to we need to create as many different values the same number will be the dummy variables that we will create so first dummy variable will be for example i name it designation one in which i would say that only lecturer is one all other zero this is the first dummy variable the second dummy variable is in which the assistant professor is one all other zero Third is the one in which the associate professor is one, all other zero, and the third and the fourth is in which the full professor is one and all other zero. Similarly, if I have uh, measured age in the form of categorical variable in the form of ranges, then I I can have five uh, or more than five, whatever the ranges I have used, so I can create as much number of dummy variables. So let me demonstrate how we can do it in Excel. For example, I have this categorical variable designation, which has four levels. So I would create the first dummy variable in which is called the lecturer, or I would I would name it as designation designation one. So in this first designation, I would say a simple if formula if e2 is equals to 0 so 0 is the number i have assigned to lecturer then make that one all other becomes zero drag and drop and this is our first dummy variable similarly another dummy variable now i would say if e2 is equals to 1 that is the number i have assigned to a system professor then that will be, remain one all other will become zero in the same manner there's a three so if e2 is equal to two that would become one all other will become zero one thing we need to be careful about is the blanks or missing values in our demographics if we have those blanks and missing values our priority should be to avoid such missing values otherwise we would have to make another dummy variable with those missing values as well there's a four if e2 is equals to 3 that becomes 1 all other becomes 0 so we have created four dummy variables from this particular demographic or control variables for the sake of demonstration in smart plus 4 i have got this data with me it's a different data that we have used before because this data has a lot of dummy variables already created like age, designation, experience and the data already has some control variables which are binary in nature like gender type binary, marital status type binary and we have created these dummy variables from the control variables as well. Now let's make a new PLS SEM model name it control variables so what is the technique 
what we do is that we actually check or test for the significance of control variables in the model with our endogenous or dependent variable only so this is my dependent variable which is work family balance and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose two ivs work family conflict and uh, and the other is family to work conflict right so this is a simple model because our basic demonstration is based upon the use of control variables and make the connections so these are the connections we can switch off the indicators so first we will be checking the measurement model liabilities validities all green discriminant all okay so next step is to include the control variables first control variable is gender gender is already the binary variable so what i can do is that i can just bring out this variable the indicator and the composite will be formed like this make a connection so this is the first control variable i have added similarly when as previously discussed when we have more than one levels so we only we are going to choose uh, we are going to leave out one of the dummy variables and we are going to choose the remaining to create the composite variable for that particular control variable so i i have chosen designation and only three indicators or three dummy variables as indicators and make the connection like this similarly for the age we can leave any of these because that will be used as the reference and use the remaining and now let's run the bootstrapping to see if any of the control variable is significantly related to our dv so uh, let's see the result Yes, as we can see that age is significantly related to our dependent variable uh, but remaining uh, control variables are not significantly related gender is insignificant designation is insignificant so what we should do is that we should retain the age as one of the control variables in the remaining uh, in our model because it is a, it has a significant relation with our dependent variable and we can remove the remaining Uh, variables or control variables for parsimony or simplicity of the research model so for a quick recap remember that uh, if we have a dichotomous uh, variable as a control variable we can directly use the indicator as it is if we have more than one levels then what we should do is that we should make the as much number of dummy variable as the number of levels and while making our composite variable or our latent variable we should skip out one of the levels and use the remaining uh, to create that composite variable if our control variable is significantly related we should retain it for the model uh, otherwise we can uh, omit or we can also uh, carry out doing the analysis uh, by uh, having those control variables uh, there uh, within our structural model